everybody! What on earth is going on today? Today we're going to learn how to create channel masks. Um, channels are found next to your layers panel here. If you click on the tab here called channels, you can see that there should be RGB in, in there. Unless you have your channel set to CMYK, then you'll see that instead, or some of the other color profiles. But most of the time when you load something up, it's going to come in as RGB. Now, channels are good to hold color information, such as red, green, and blue values. They're good to hold spot color information, which I went over before in an earlier tutor tutorial. And they're good to hold selections, aka channel masks. Channel masks have the same concepts as um, the, a layer mask. So think of it as just like a layer mask in the channels panel. So what we want to do is make an alpha out of this moon here. If you're not sure what an alpha is, it's basically a black and white image that holds um, transparency values for your masks or, or like selection values. So it's basically just a mask. So let's go ahead and add this in here. And let's select our moon here. Let's use this, uh, um, the... Uh, magic wand tool and we'll go ahead and select our moon and we can see that when I selected the moon since it has a totally different contrast than the uh, black background it was easy to select which is why I actually selected this object alright now all we need to do is come down to our create new channel button and click create new channel and we can go ahead and just paint in white onto our moon and there we already have a channel mask already created which is easy enough now a good thing about keeping one of these uh, channel masks is say you're working on your image here let me go back to the right, correct channel here say we're working on our image here and it's more of a complex image than just this circle um, which is the moon. You can always go into your channels panel after you've already made the selection and say you're going to click on your alpha that you made. You can select this um, load channel as selection. And then when you go back into your, make sure you click on RGB, when, RGB, when you go back into your layers panel, you'll always have that selection saved in your channels panel. It's good for holding those selections so you don't have to keep on selecting the same thing over and over again and it keeps your selection consistent. Now you can um, affect your uh, channel here by just using simple things like the paintbrush tool to, let me deselect, to draw and do things out of uh, your channel here, or do things on your channel, on your channel here, sorry about that just like a layer mask. So remember I said that the channel mask is basically a layer mask in the channels, except for it's not linked to another uh, layer. So that's a, um, basically the concept. Just think of using the techniques that I taught you on how to use a layer mask onto your channel mask. So that's it that I wanted to show you for creating a channel mask. And in our next couple of tutorials, I'll uh, show you how to use the uh, channel masks a little more and get more in-depth in them. So keep con or continue to watch the tutorials, and have a good one, everyone.